Hello, Bernie. Hi. <laughs> you are uh, talking a little bit about the snow in Denver. It's going to be pretty vicious here, huh? Well, it is. I mean, here it is. I mean, this is a, a classic way in which Denver gets a snowstorm because you can clearly see where your upper low is. And the forecaster rule of thumb is, as you see an upper low around the Four Corners area, you look out in Denver because what ends up happening with this upper low is it comes on out. You end up lowering the pressure in the plains. That forces the wind out of the northeast and then you're just ramming this northeast wind up against the front range of the Rockies with the upper low in here and I mean it's going to get nasty in Denver it'll be tonight now th this is already impressive I mean look at this here's your upper low and you have this look at this you see this what we call a best S band it's like a bear what we call a bear clinic leaf it's just a uh, a fancy term for an area of upward motion out of the upper low and you can see how this S band is that's an indication that the storm is strengthening so Denver the snow's coming tonight uh, and it's gonna get now it's gonna end up being a blizzard maybe not in Denver itself downtown but you get to the airport interstate uh, and and up across northeastern Colorado this is as bad as it's gonna get tonight blowing snow drifting snow things will be shut down for a little bit in northeastern Colorado. They said it looks cold too. The temperatures are pretty low, I'm assuming. Or no, actually, no. It will be, it will be, but right now it's 48 degrees in Denver. Oh, wow, okay. So and you, and listen, this is class. This is, you gotta understand, the front range isn't like the east where you get the cold air first. This is something that as this storm comes out of the Rockies, you're gonna force the wind to the north and east. You will bring cold air down. And remember, Denver's at 5,000 feet. It's a little different. So it's not cold right now, uh, but it will be. And uh, while it may get into the 50s, this afternoon, it'll be a blizzard late tonight and tomorrow in eastern Colorado. The other thing is, you can't get this much energy this time of the year without looking at severe weather. And there's going to be severe weather with this. Let's look at the 500, look at this. This is wind. Remember what severe weather needs? Severe weather needs energy. And what's energy in the atmosphere? Wind. So wind equals energy, and the energy that's, that needs to make the thunderstorm severe is in the form of wind. Look at this energy coming in. Look at it. You can see all this wind energy, all of these yellows and, 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 and whites and, and pinks and purples. This is wind that's being spun around this jet. So you're taking all this wind and you're jamming it in the West Texas. And what do you have going on right there now? Look at it. You have all this moisture. You see this? atmosphere always works like this here's your tropical moisture coming in that's why you already have a band of rain in here but you're jamming all this tropical moisture into texas then you have all this wind energy that's going to come into this and this is going to light up like a christmas tree yeah afternoon. they were asking about like brownsville texas um no it's Dallas. north no no it's north, okay. of, it's north of there the the severe weather that we're Here's the area that we're looking at. It's going to start this afternoon. Western Kansas, Western Oklahoma, West Texas. This is where it starts. Now, when the thunderstorms first form, that's when your tornado threat is. Because what ends up happening, you get these thunderstorms that, instead of forming it in a long line, you're gonna form these individual thunderstorms, what they call discrete. But think of it this way. You need so much energy coming into a thunderstorm to make it tornadic, that you don't want competition from a lot of thunderstorms. You want a thunderstorm that can sit in an environment by itself and take in all of that energy. That's what happens late this afternoon. You'll get these thunderstorms, and let me show you what it'll look like. It'll look like this. Thunderstorm cell, thunderstorm cell, thunderstorm cell. This is that when they have their tornadoes. What will end up happening is it'll transition from looking like this to being like a squall line. When that oh, happens, man. when that happens, then you're not worried so much about tornadoes. You can still get them, but it's more about the wind, the rain, and the hail. So that's why I think this area this afternoon, Lubbock, uh, Amarillo, West, this is where you've got to worry about the tornadoes. Then as we get into tonight, from Wichita, Oklahoma City, down I-35, Dallas, San Antonio, I'm not saying you can't get thunderstorms, but I think what ends up happening, the thunderstorms don't look like this. They look like this squall line, and then it's wind and hail and flooding. Okay. So this is a classic fall storm. You get two sides. 
the severe weather side on the southeast, the snowstorm on the northwestern side. Nothing unusual. We see it happen a lot. All right. Thanks so much for updating our viewers My here pleasure. on Periscope. You can follow at Breaking Weather for the Breaking Weather updates. Thank you.